I support Portsmouth because my my family are from Portsmouth. My my um, mum and dad met when they were at school in Gosport, which is near Portsmouth. I was born in Australia and moved back when I was about eight months or something. I grew up in West Sussex near Brighton. I think I had a, a Chelsea football kit for like a year, but it was always Portsmouth. My best highlight is going to the FA Cup final. Ten years ago, my dad flew me back, we flew back over for like two weeks. I remember being scared going to the ground because we it was going to Wembley and it was in the, um, getting on the tube, it was just so packed. We went to the game, won it, and then we went, me and my dad went back to, we were staying at the Trafalgar in, in Trafalgar Square. He, he said if we win we're going swimming in Trafalgar Square basically, so me and him jumped in with our Pompey shirts and then about five minutes later we look over and there's about a hundred Pompey supporters running towards us. We start shooting ourselves, they all jump in and everyone's swimming, but our hotel's across the road, they had to get on a train back to Portsmouth, so it was good, great fun. When, when we started going down, it was just, I think we lost one of the chairmen and then some, I think all the, the supporters trust got involved. I just had to watch it really from over here. So used to seeing Pompey struggle to be fair, you know what I mean? Just happens, you know what I mean? Just happens, I guess. Every time we go back, I go watch a game with my dad and stuff my mates whenever they're there. Within Portsmouth, it's huge. It's all, all it is, you know what I mean? I just want to get back to the Championship, really. We don't need to be in the Premier League yet. In the future, in the future, it's fun, but um, it's always funner in the uh, Championship. For my seventh birthday, my parents took me to Manchester to watch an England friendly. We stayed in the same hotel as the England football team and um, got to watch them train and stuff. And the guy that was in control of like, keeping people away from them basically just tried to push us away and stuff. And I think my mum or dad had told him that Paul Gascoigne was my hero. We were watching them play like head, head tennis and on his way back he took off his jumper and gave it to me. So this, that's this jumper. So this, and then I couldn't find it for like three years. So I kept going on about my mum and then she found it in like an attic somewhere. For, before the World Cup, I went and saw um, England play Nigeria at Wembley. And um, they played pretty well. Oh, it's into a useful area here. It's into a very good area. England may be going into the semi-finals of the World Cup. That was probably the best like four weeks of my life, three weeks of my life. Like even, even going into the semi-final, I was still like going into it thinking if we lost, I was still like really pleased with how it went. Best one I've ever seen. I was zero when they last did that. So they did Perisic, Mandzukic! Croatia hit the front! It's 28 years of pretty, pretty poor football from good footballers. It's, it's probably harder for my dad. They, um, when they were in the penalties with Colombia, he was in a pub in Chelsea and I was here. And after they'd won, I called him and he was like, hello. And I was like, you all right? And he was like, yeah, we lose, do we? And I'm like, where are you? And he's like, I just went for a walk. He couldn't watch the penalties. So I, it's, it's tough for him. I think the whole world saw how mental England went and we got to the semi-finals. So I think it'd be good, really good to see them win the World Cup for, for everyone. So I noticed that while you are on tour, you were hanging out with Elton John. How'd that come about? So he, he has a show on Beats, on, on Apple Music. He gets sent a bunch of music every year from Apple and um, he just like sieves through it and he heard one of the songs and just liked it and started playing it on his show. And then he gave me a call and then he was in Sydney and we managed to meet up, had a hug, good fun. I'm still 
getting over it, to be fair. I did a song with Polygraphia about a year and a half ago now, and we've just been writing songs ever since, really. We ended up getting enough to make something, and the name just made it need to happen, you know what I mean? They, Moktar's and Polygraphia, they've got such a distinct sound. It's like happy, happy dance. It's really, it's hard to explain. It's like euphoria. It's like a vagueness of sadness over like really happy dance beats. It's weird. It's been fun. It's been, it's been crazy to see the people come out, to be fair.